Hey guys, what's up? So, if you guys are watching my previous videos, you know that I'm kind of been messing around with the HF. Um, so I actually got a new radio. This is not it. This is a Radio Shack HTX10. But I got an Anytone AT6666, uh, and it basically puts out about 50 watts or 60 watts single sideband, and it's too much for my current power supply. And I'm doing some other stuff, that's what's on my test bench now, I'm converting a 12 volt power supply into a, uh, you know, uh, something that actually would work, but, you know, I, I actually wanted something to actually put out 13.8 volts, whereas this thing actually put out, puts out about 12 volts, um, I mean, it would probably work with one of these radios, but um, I wanted something that was actually at 13.8, because uh, from what I'm learning about HF, is HF is very picky about everything. It's picky about its power, picky about the cable you use, antenna. You know, it's way more unforgiving than like an FM. You know, like like two meter or four, uh, or a 77 meter. So, got this over on Amazon. I'll put a link to, in the oh, description yeah, where you can get yeah, it. And, it's a pyramid. The kids help me film the video here. That's what it is. It is, I think it was like $69. Uh, prices change all the time, so. But this is a, should be a 30 amp uh, power supply, like a little small one that I can put on my desk, and I'll show you that. Oh, no. So I can run my new radio and do some SR. I, I don't even know. I can't even tune the antenna or look at the antenna because it's not putting on enough amperage. My, my radio is complaining about. Um, my radio is complaining about low voltage, you know, and that's with a 12 volt power supply, so. Um, yeah, so it's kind of big, I guess. Okay. All right. All right. Actually, it's bigger than you, you think it would be. I mean, it's not huge, but for power supply, but it's definitely. Uh, and this will fit on my desk. Right. Here's the power cable. So first thing is first, I want to test the. So what are these? Uh, you got banana clips. Looks like. Mm. Okay, they got the little holes in the side, so I can just put the wires in there if I didn't have the banana clips. Alright. That's cool. So I might... Oh, shit, sorry, guys. So there actually is little holes. So if you didn't have banana clips, you could just feed the wires right in there. So, um... Alright. And... Right, let's test the voltage output. Make sure this thing is 13.8. Right, plug it in. All right, you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. First time, out of the box, power on. Let's see what kind of voltage this thing is doing. Switch that down to DC. Get the leads in there. All right, 13.69. All right, that should be that should be sufficient. So. Yeah, I guess I just wanted a power supply that would actually supply the voltage that the radio was designed for, and not 12 volts. So, all right, let's get this thing uh, on the radio and see what's up. Cool. Guys, let me show you my current setup. This actually this works fine for a radio that does uh, requires less watts. Like it was working fine with the uh, the Radio Shack HCX10, which only had needed 25 watts. Uh, with this one, let me show you a quick, uh, hopefully it does it on the radio, or on the screen here. Okay, um... Alright, let me get into, a uh, CB band here. Hey guys, on channel 40, CB band, 11 meter, AM mode. And, <clears throat> let me see if this thing will... I mean, I don't want to do this a lot because I don't want to hurt the radio. Uh, well, it's probably... Probably cold, but normally I was getting like a DC low. Yeah, I'd get like a DC low here. So, um, but I mean, I was doing a lot of transmitting. It would say, actually, on the screen, it would say DC low. So, test, test, test. Alright, so we didn't do it, but. 
did it for me before, so I know I need something bigger. So I'm going to put that on my desk and we'll get it hooked up. All right, guys, there it is. So I was hoping this would give you guys some kind of scale. See how big it is? That's right below my monitor. Probably not the best place to have it, you know, for interference maybe. Don't know. Still learning this stuff. So, um, so that's my uh, AT1666 AT and that's my QYT7800D. It's a quad channel or quad band, you know, uh, 2 meter, 220, 330, and 440. 70, 70, 70 meter. Can't talk right now. Um, okay, so let's see if this thing works. Let's see if my radio goes on. That's channel 40 CB. So I still have a lot of uh, tuning to do. Um, I just wanted to show you this. So I can't try to get all my things uh, fixed. I got a new cable came in, that came in. 50 feet of RG213. Uh, I got a new antenna, Stardaster antenna that I'll be installing in future videos. I guess this is part of my quest for 10 meter project. Um, but this is just a power supply video. So there it is. That's the Pyramid PSV300. It's a 30 amp. Uh, power supply so if you're interested it was $69 on Amazon I'll put a link down below all right cool thanks